Alabama Birmingham in which they were handled easily at 73-48 trying to get back on the winning track but a tough test here tonight as Alex Peterson gets on the board so yep. did not want to foul something he's worked on quite a bit avoiding silly fouls Jefferson drives it and completes it Jefferson. he was tremendous all year last year in his consistency Kennesaw State gets another one inside as Peterson works for his second bucket. So it stops at Texas A&M, Murray State. And a nice long-range two-pointer from Chris Youngblood. Good defense as Mahoney comes up with the loose ball. And now Jefferson drives it and finishes. Got a steal a second ago. He might emerge into being that defensive stopper. Bishop couldn't stop Peterson. Peterson off to a great start. He's home that usually plays with tremendous energy, and a lot of it is because, you know, there's 16, 17,000 people in here and in an empty gym. I think Creighton's lacked a little bit of energy. But Rebound, Zagorowski, Zagorowski pushes on the break. Let's see if Creighton's offense can get rolling a little bit. Great dish from Jones and Cockbrenner. Jones could provide some of that toughness for Creighton. Youngblood goes to the bench after that foul. The lob for Cockbrenner and the freshman with a couple of baskets early. Seven and a half minutes. A Cockbrenner with the steal, and he's going to get his third basket. How about the big freshman, the seven-footer? Reef Mitchell have totally changed the complexion of this game. Creighton came out a little flat, and the bench has sparked him. And Cockbrenner does it again. Four straight baskets for the seven-foot freshman. Better job defensive from a defensive presence, but also offensively, he's been a game changer. You practice well, eventually it's gonna reveal itself in a game. I think you're seeing that here. Long three from Zagorowski. Good defense that time from Mahoney. Got his hand on it. Zagorowski in transition, gives it right back to Mahoney. Misses the three, but Cockbrenner's there for the putback. Pumps energy into your defensive. Zagorowski off the dribble. And Zagorowski's got five. That's, they have gotten busy. Eight of ten, eight of their last ten after the cold start. Zagorowski beats his man off the dribble. The season last year, he had surgery. So, yeah, he's still working his, his way back. Long three on the way. Nothing but net from Chris Youngblood. Pulls down the rebound. See if Bishop has a little better play than he started off with. And Zagorowski, boy, that's just a couple of bounces past the half court line. Well, you, you can, can shoot him from there. They I just didn't go in. That's what I'm saying. I'll shoot it from that way. I can, I can get him up. I'm not they're going to go in at the rate that it does for Zagorowski. But. And Kennesaw State answering with young bloods. It's nice when your most productive players are the hardest workers. Yeah. Jefferson, the finish. Basket, but he's the leading scorer on this Kennesaw State team at 17 per game, and not much has come easy for him, that's for sure, as Creighton's done a great job defensively, and Ballack gets it to the basket. For a rhythm and a flow, and then once he did, I and mean, again, really was a dangerous scorer, so I think he's just going to be that much more lethal offensively. Case good of the night, and Zagorowski trying to respond at the other end, and Cockbrenner grabs the offensive rebound. The big freshman does it again. Cockbrenner has been fantastic tonight with a totally different deal. And it makes a huge difference for a guy like Cockbrenner because, you know, you, you can't work on being seven foot, but you can work on being strong. He's a terrific player. He's double figures in all three games for Kennesaw State so far this season. Averaging about uh, 17 per contest as Mitchell gets the basket. Turnovers here in the first half. And anytime you come in, especially... When you're a team that's uh, trying to get things turned around to begin with yourself, as Balak gets inside loose for the easy deuce, takes effect, and Zagorowski missed the shot, but Epperson, the offensive rebound, another chance for the Jays, and Balak at Missouri State West Plains. He's really been the impact player for Kennesaw State here in the first half, but no stopping to operate with all the shooters. Zagorowski reads it perfectly. Peterson finds his way to the bucket again. And pulled down by Bishop. Both teams with the original starters to begin the second half as Jefferson gets the easy deuce. Is 
perfect for what you want in a leader. Yeah, he's got that competitive fire to him that I think is contagious. Blood off that screen. The freshman shown some range here in this ball game as Bishop gets free inside. Free from the same spot. And Bishop finds himself free as he runs the floor. The big fellow with back-to-back -back baskets. <laughs> Not often in the family pickup game, you got you know, you're playing five you're on five. Next. Yeah, mom, I can't play. <laughs> Not, but uh, I think it's a valuable asset, a valuable tool to be able to put your name in. As a terrific move by Spencer Rogers in the reverse finish. Harder than everybody right now. He has beaten. Kennesaw State down the floor numerous times. The lob for Cockbrenner. Ballock guarding Rogers. Rogers still trying to get on, on track here. He's averaging 17 a game, hasn't had much freedom. Going to not play to the score, you're going to play to a standard. And the standard is if there's a loose ball, you're the first to the floor every time. Ballock, three. <laughs> if he takes a single shot as long as the team is successful. Oh, great defense from Mitchell to steal that inbounds pass and the finish plus the foul. Misses and the rebound pulled down by Mahoney. 18 footer Denzel Mahoney. Which one of those three do you think talks the most trash? <laughs> I, think, I bet it's Alvin. <laughs> you know, and the, the coaches just love him. I mean, he's a hard worker, picks things up quickly. He's unselfish. And there he is, knocking down the corner three piece for this great team. Rodgers looking to get his offense going. Little runner off the glass. Well done. Mahoney rises for three, and that's short. Gets his own rebound. Kicks it to Jefferson for three more. He was just 10 of 46 from three last year was Jefferson. Him and Mitchell were the two guys, Vince, that you could kind of play off of in the half court. And if those two guys emerge as capable three-point shooters, you literally have no relief. You know, one of the things you talk about teams, and I know we're a long way from the NCAA tournament, but the teams that make the deep run in the tournament, a great pass and a finish from Rogers. Good look from Stroud. But teams that make a deep run in the NCAA tournament so often are those that they've got a lot of balance and they've got multiple weapons as Bishop shows that he is one. Approaching the eight minute mark here at the CHI Health Center in Omaha where ninth ranked Creighton has been every bit of a top 10 team. Terrell Burden getting the basket for the Owls, and then Epperson comes right back with the answer. Unbalanced, he can take and make any shot, but it's the shots where he's not, doesn't have his feet under him that he misses. So the big thing is balance for him. Yeah, director of basketball operations, a great guy. Good hustle by Peterson getting that offensive rebound and the putback. Bench with 14 points and five rebounds. There's Cordobaum again, and that left-hander gets in there this time. Nick Zile out there as well, getting some action, and there's Sharif Mitchell with the basketball now. Zile, the three-pointer, got it. Always nice, I think, when the uh, players that they give it up every day in practice, but they don't get much time on it, but they've got that taken care of. As, uh, Epperson missed that shot, and we're under 90 seconds left. Cordobaum and one. In a uh, neutral site yeah. matchup, and they are two fine basketball teams. Can't wait for that one. That's going to be a heck of a game. So showing for Creighton and uh, Coach Greg McDermott's ball club. We'll move to 3-0, and and McDermott win number 234 in his Creighton career.